Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's start level 2, the Raisin Ruins. Kirby games have a strong tradition tradition of naming levels after food because, well, Kirby's quite the glutton. Let's just face it. <laughs> and yet he never gains a pound. He still stays the tiny 8-inch hero we know and love, and I should have actually took that power. <laughs> That's the whip power up. I should say that enemy gives you the whip power up, so I'd like to respawn him using this game's ridiculous respawn rate, and he should already be back. Oh no, he's not. I'll go a little bit further, and oh, there he is. <laughs> That's one cute little critter there, I have to say, that gives you the whip power up. The whip does exactly as you would expect. It's a whip. You can also do these little combo attacks and stuff like that. You can also grab things with the whip. These guys, I believe, are from Kirby 64, if I'm not mistaken, unless I'm wrong. Uh, those biter enemies. Oh, we got a Scarfy. Those enemies... Oh! If you, don't try to inhale Scarfy enemies. That one that I just killed that looked like a Pikachu head. If you do, you will regret it. They'll, they'll go angry, and they'll go right after you. What's down? Ooh, that's a door. Hidden door! Oh, this is what you can use the whip for. Like that. Pull stuff towards you. There's even the whip power up up there to uh, sort of hint you at what you can do with it. And you know what? I'll show you Scarfy's attack just for the fun of it. Oh my god! <laughs> it is evil! Okay, I'm, go I'm gonna go back in here and get another whip. There we go. I just wanted to show that for fun. It's, it's just like this cute enemy turns into this ridiculous, ruthless, ugly, evil thing. <laughs> You do not expect that in the slightest the first time you see a Scarfy. And it's still sort of weird and silly even to this day, and I've played a lot of Kirby hours. <laughs> I love Kirby. Um, I can whip these towards me, I get a hot dog too. Mm, I don't know why there's a hot dog inside those ruins there, but there you go. Maybe these Scarfies were hiding their food or something because they were afraid someone was going to steal it. Uh, that's the fire power up. I already showed that off. Um, that guy doesn't give you any power-ups to my knowledge. Uh, I'm just gonna let him hop over my head happily. Oh, look at that, it's a little <laughs> Waddle D riding on top of it. I was actually gonna say a shy guy for some reason. I don't know why that I was gonna say that, and I didn't mean to do that. I, I should have swore I pressed down there to absorb the power. That's really, really weird. Anyway, yeah, you respawn. Uh, see, this, see this fuse here? You can light it with the burning burning the fire power up just like so and get into the can and press down to load yourself in there if you'd like to or just bob your head up and down <laughs> and you'll be transported to another area hello energy sphere Woo! and that's the first one so I didn't miss any that's good to know mm, keep going uh, if you run and charge in midair you can do that dashy dash thing in midair like I just showed you there I would like to get rid of that block and take my power back because it would be much easier to just burn through this oh needle a needle I didn't want the needle it's just oh no what it's just bucked off that <laughs> bucked off the waddle tee <laughs> that's pretty silly because it hit it's hit its face in the wall you know what? I'm taking this over the needle any day uh, I got this boulder here yeah I knew that was gonna happen <laughs> Maybe I should have got behind that boulder before this started, but then again, it wouldn't be quite as exciting to rush ahead. Uh, I got a switch here. Oh! What? Why would they have it set up like that? That doesn't seem very conductive, unless I'm, the trick I'm, is that I'm supposed to get ahead of it or something. No, it just kills itself right there. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just something to surprise you, I suppose. And another boulder. Uh-oh. Oh my. <laughs> I'm trapped between two boulders. This is what I mean about the game's good design. Uh, yeah, like you can tell those blocks ahead of time that something is going to be behind them. It's a very, very clever game design there, so you don't want to jump up ahead at the immediate first glance that you see. It hints at you that you're supposed to stay on the lower out by those, bo uh, by those blocks. This game is full of great game design elements just like that. It's all over the place. And that's why I love this game so much, and I just had to make a walkthrough on it. I knew I was going to make a walkthrough on it the moment I played through the first world of this game, because of just how high quality this game is in terms of level design. Woohoo! 
and this is another sort of fun thing about Kirby games, the overpoweredness as I explained before with the superpowers, or ultra powers, whatever you want to call it, excuse me. And yeah, just so much fun to run through things, run through enemies, and Umbrella. I do believe this is actually going to come in handy, this is a new power-up. Well, well, not new to this game, but they did improve it a little bit in that it's more aggressive. So it is kind of new, but not all that new. It's, it's still the Umbrella, but it's not the Umbrella that I found annoying in other Kirby games. <laughs> Um, it just got that nice little drift, and it's not its not too restrictive like it was before. Um, so it's a lot easier to control. Do I want one of these? I'm going to take the whip just because it's got grabbing power. And uh, it's probably not going to matter anyway because here's a boss. I, I could sense this open area was a boss. It's Bonkers! A really classic Kirby boss. He's got a hammer, he jumps around, he throws coconuts. It's what he does. He is... Oh! <laughs> I just said he threw coconuts, but yet I still take a hit by his coconuts. And I know his attack patterns too, so it's not like it's a surprise or anything like that. And I took a hit there because I was rushing, but that's alright. And I'll take his hammer power up. Hammer! Freaking broken power in most Kirby games because of its power. You can even use it underwater. I haven't swam at all in this game yet. I should say I haven't shown you how to swim at all in this game yet. You can use it to break metal blocks, and that's what you needed that hammer for. As I said before, whenever you see a boss, take its power after you kill it. Because it'll likely uh, give you something afterwards that'll be good. Oh boy, I'm not going to get the number one. Ugh. Nah, I'm getting worse. <laughs> Woo! Alright, this stage is 100%ed, so I don't really care too much about the uh, ranking system of that minigame at the end there, trying to get up to the highest point. Though it is fun, I mean, it would be fun to uh, at least get one once in this walkthrough, because I wasn't able to do that in my Nightmare in Dreamland walkthrough for some reason. Just never got the timing, never was lucky enough. This these loops sort of reminded me of Green Hill Zone. <laughs> it just gave me that feel. Oh yeah, when you're underwater you can swim at the control pad. It's very, very fun to do. Easy control and certain powers like the hammer can be used underwater. If you can't use a power underwater, you'll have this sort of... Oh, I want, I want to show this off. You'll have this sort of water jet power. Like, I don't believe you can use the water power underwater, ironically, though you can skim across the top of it. But like you see, I don't have any power on the water, I just have goggles, but you can shoot like that underwater. So you got like a little projectile. So you're never defenseless when you're underwater. And dashing will give you this surf-like effect. It's another maybe Pokemon power, maybe a Pokemon reference. I'm not sure, but I swear that leaf blade, I mean that, that leaf power-up is like a Grovile leaf blade or something like that. It just feels so familiar in, in how it looks and stuff like that. And I'm going to see what's in here because I see that there's some hidden gems. Fish! No! Why must you be in my way and why didn't I kill you properly? I blame myself entirely and not the game. <laughs> the fish was just happily making its it's home in that pond, and I killed it. I, ooh, rock power. I was gonna say I feel bad, but this rock, well, it's called stone power, but it makes me feel a whole lot better to have the stone power. And you can make a whole bunch of different kinds of statues with the stone power. Let's see if I can get some of them. Ah, the, um, the, the buddies from uh, Kirby's Dreamland 3, I believe those were. Uh, it's a fist. <laughs> Uh, Kirby, another fist. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna see. Oh, it's a star block, too. You can use this to slide down hills and bowl through enemies awesomely like that. And there's a fish he apparently got out of the water somehow. Maybe he's trying to commit suicide or something like that. Poor little fishy there. Must have been really, really depressed. I helped him along in his suicide ways, though. All these, all these poor fish are just beached. Wait, wait. I can also stomp these with the Brock power-up. And I can also hit those with the hammer as well, so keep that in mind. Um... This is suspicious. I have to get ahead of it, don't I? Yes, I do! <laughs> okay, whenever you see like a chain reaction of sorts like that, be prepared to get as far ahead of that sucker as you possibly can. Oh, more beached fish, poor little critters. 
Oh, maybe there was an outbreak of karaoke or something like that that made him depressed, because that's what happened in that one game. Uh, anyway, let's just keep going on through these underwater tunnels. As I said, control underwater is really, really good, really fluent, really easy to do. No problem whatsoever. You can go as precise or as wild as you want to do. And this is going to be really hard to get this guy with the rock, isn't it? No, I guess not. <laughs> Maybe I should take this. Hey, what's? Do I want to go up ahead or go in the store? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I can go back. Oh, it's just for a one-up. I bet you I do something like that, and... Yep! That's why they gave me the water power-up before I entered the door, I guess. And... I'm just trying to think of this strategically here, what I, what I need exactly to get through this. Anything underwater that I am missing? I... Is it? Either this is a really long stage or I'm missing a lot. <laughs> uh, there's a door down. Ow. There's a door down there. Is that something that I want to enter though? Probably. Because it looks like the stage continues on to the right even further. Please be an energy sphere? Um. Yes, there is one. But which one is the one I see? Is it this one? Because it leads with those blocks? Yes, it is. The other one will probably unleash the Gordo and the fish upon me. Uh, yep. <laughs> Gotta always pay attention to the block trails as well uh, before you hit one of those things just to make sure that you aren't gonna be tricked into anything. And and yes, I I mean I should say no, I didn't miss anything. So I'm still good to go. I haven't missed a single thing yet. That makes me very happy. Nah, needle power, no. <laughs> I'd rather be powerless than have the needle power. That's the only power in this game that I don't really like. All the other ones I, I could use gracefully and happily anywhere. The needle power just feels way too clunky to me. Oh, there's also switches that you can grab onto like that. Those are also new to this Kirby game, though it's pretty obvious how you use them. Ooh! New Ultra or Super Power coming up, excuse me, whatever you want to call it. Because uh, you see these statues have those stars on them that can only be destroyed via the powers that V of the superpowers. Um, I could go back through and kill as many of those critters as I want to. If, well, maybe I'll go back and clear them just for the fun of it. Woo! The flare beam! Now, this is pretty neat. It reminds me of Pikachu's Voltackle in Super Smash Brothers. Well, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. In that you control an erratic sphere like that. Oops, I, I want to cancel it with the jump button. There we go. And you're also invincible as you use this power, so don't worry about it in the slightest. As I said before, these powers freaking broken beyond belief. Woo! So, they got a little time to have some fun with them and destroy absolutely everything. <laughs> so much fun. By the way, in case you didn't realize, the different star sizes and colors have different values, so... That, that should be pretty obvious, though. Oh, I took a hit there, even with my power, because I wasn't using my power, and I got reckless. I didn't destroy all of them. Hey, there's another critter right there. <laughs> I could actually lose it and refresh my power if I wanted to. And I'll just take some time to kill you off and you off for the fun of it. It's always fun to take a little time to have fun in Kirby games, after all. Yeah, just break apart these suckers. Uh, where is the other bomb? I didn't see where the other bomb was. Oh, there it is. It was, it was probably off screen that I couldn't see it. As I've explained before, I use a CRT TV which cuts off the borders of the screen slightly, and I kind of didn't want to do that. Whoops. <laughs> I am hitting buttons accidentally that I do not want to hit, and I'm pretty sure over here is another one of those uh, portals to a different dimension, the black and white dimension of Doom that I love so much because of its music and artistic looks. And there she is. We'll be going in there for the last two energy spheres. Woo! And oh, it's blocks of water this time. <laughs> they really stand out in this black and white area because they're such a bright color, as well as the enemies themselves. Whoa, 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 whoa! I almost killed myself there. You can't fly when you have a thing in your mouth. Uh, so that, that, that kind of goes against what eagles can do, but still, it just doesn't work for Kirby. He's not a bird. Uh, uh, he just kind of floats. <laughs> well, that's this huge fish. <laughs> it's just like, hey, I'm a big fish and I'm in your way. <laughs> 
And this, these stars also go slower in water, so you can catch up with them easily. You can also collect some stars and stuffed bananas. Also, if you're using, I mean, if you you have air in your mouth as you go into water, you'll float. So it also incorporates those kinds of physics as well. That's also a nice thing I like in Kirby games. Because you can actually use that to speed run certain areas to get through them a little bit faster if you know what's coming up ahead of time. So that's like for the pros out there, so to speak, who, who like to speed run games. Or just people who like to have multiple ways to move around, of course. Uh, whip umbrella, whip umbrella, whip umbrella, whip. Because I, wait, actually, I didn't show either of these powers very much, actually. Uh, looks like there's gonna be some water into this battle and different kind of sphere zoomer this time. The whip does quite a lot of damage per hit, I have to say. Got a good sonic boom smack. Oh yeah, baby gonna do a little dash, very predictable attack there. Just goes right in the direction that it's facing, or it's, I should say right in the lateral direction it's pointing to. And it's gonna do a teleport thingy, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty predictable. Whenever it does that teleport, all you have to do is just stand on the ground. It's not gonna touch you whatsoever. That was pretty easy. And, woo! Stage 2-2 two -two is now 100% complete. And another maximum tomato, I guess, if you need it. I didn't, which makes me quite happy. So let's leave the stage and continue on to the exit, which I believe is just up here. Yep. And oh boy, wish me luck. Even if I fail, we'll still be able to do the Kirby. Dang it. <laughs> well, doing the Kirby makes it all worthwhile and lifts my spirits right back up. And that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we do stage 2-3. Oh, and we unlocked copy room one, too. So you can get all those powers that are listed on in that little picture there, which is... Actually, that's a pretty good set of powers there. Anyway, I'm rambling. Hope you enjoyed.